Let us consider a case where we can use decision trees to solve the problem. ABC Toys Private Limited is considering the addition of a new toy to its existing product line. So consider a company ABC Toys Private Limited. It has its existing product line and due to reasons of growth or various other reasons, they decide to add a new toy to its product line. Now while making the decision of adding a new toy to the product line, they have three alternate courses of action. A is work overtime. If they work overtime, then the overtime expenses are estimated at rupees 20,000 per month. B install new equipment. If they install new equipment, the fixed expenses per month are expected at rupees 80,000. And C to lease or rent a machine at the rate of 35,000 per month. Now all these three costs that are given is the fixed cost. So if they are leasing or renting a machine, they have to pay 35,000 per month irrespective of the number of units that they manufacture. Now the variable cost associated with the above three alternatives are rupees 9, rupees 7 and rupees 8 per toy respectively. So if they choose option A that is work over time then the cost of each toy that they manufacture includes the variable component of rupees 9. Similarly for option B the variable component is rupees 7 per toy and for option C the variable cost is rupees 8 per toy. Now the price per unit of the toy which is independent of the manufacturing alternative is fixed at rupees 15. So what, what they're saying is that the sale price of the toy irrespective of which manufacturing option they choose is going to be rupees 15. Now the expected demand for the toy is given below 10,000 pieces with a probability of 0.5. So the probability of the demand being 10,000 pieces is 0.5. Similarly for 20,000 pieces the probability is 0.3 and 50,000 pieces the probability is 0.2. So the question is which alternative should the company adopt to manufacture the toy. So we'll try to use decision tree to solve this problem but before we go there uh, to just form a structure in our mind about this problem basically what all information we have been given is that there are three alternative options for manufacturing. The fixed cost for each of these three options is given that is 20,000, 80,000 and 35,000. The variable cost of each of these options is given, that is 9, 7 and 8. The sales price of the toy is given, which is rupees 15. And the demand and probability is given, which is 10,000 has a probability of 0 0.5, 20,000 has probability of 0 0.3 and 50,000 has a probability of 0.2. So now let's look at how to create a decision tree and arrive at a decision for this problem. Now with the information that we have, let us draw the basic structure of the decision tree. So this is the decision node. From the decision node, there are three alternatives. One is over time, second is new equipment and third is leasing. So let us draw three branches. So first one is over time, second is new equipment, 
third is leasing. Each of these alternatives will have an event node. So let's create an event node. Now each of the event nodes has three possible events and the corresponding outcomes based on the demand that we have. So we have three demands so that is 10,000, 20,000 and 50,000. So let us create three branches. Each has a separate demand. So for overtime, demand equal to 10,000, demand equal to 20,000, and demand equal to 50,000. For new equipment, same thing, D equal to 10,000, 50,000, and D equals to 20,000. D equals to 20,000 and D equals to 50,000. Now let us number the nodes. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now the decision to go with the option of overtime or new equipment or leasing can be arrived at once we know the profitability that we'll achieve at each of the node number 2, 3 and 4. And the profitability at each of the nodes can be determined once we know the profitability at each of the outcome branches. So let's first determine the profitability at each of the outcome branches. That is, if the demand is 10,000 for the option of overtime, how much is the profitability? Similarly, for demand equal to 20,000 and overtime, how much is the profitability and so on. We will use the data given in the problem to arrive at that. So let us draw a table to calculate the monthly profit. So we'll have alternative price per unit. Rupees, variable cost per unit in rupees and monthly profit. This will be based on the three demands that have been given that is 10,000, 20,000 and 50,000. So the alternatives are overtime, new equipment and leasing. The unit price, that is the sales price, has been given as 15 rupees. So this is 15 for all the three options. The variable cost per unit is given as 9, 7 
and A. Now, based on this figure, the formula that we'll be using for profit is equal to the demand multiplied by sales price, that is, say, 10,000 multiplied by 15 minus the demand multiplied by the cost. So first the variable cost that is 10,000 multiplied by 9 and then the fixed cost. So for overtime the cost given was 20,000 so minus 20,000. So this comes to 150,000 minus 90,000 minus 20,000 is equal to 15 minus 9 is 6. So 60,000 minus 20,000 is equal to 40,000. So the first box has 40,000. Similarly, if you calculate for all the alternatives and the monthly profit, you'll get the following values. 100,000, 280,000 for new equipment, 0, 80,000 and 320,000. For leasing, you'll get 35,000, 105,000, and 315,000. Now, based on these values that we have received, let us further construct our decision tree. So this is our decision node number one. Over time, new equipment and leasing. These are the event nodes. 2, 3, and 4. Each of the event nodes will have outcomes. Now for each of the outcomes, let's note down the monthly profit that we had calculated in the previous step. So for the first one, it is 40,000. Second was 100,000. Third was 280,000. For new equipment, first was Zero. Second was eighty thousand, and third was three twenty thousand. For leasing, first was thirty five thousand, second was one hundred and five thousand, and third three hundred fifteen thousand. Now we have also been given 
the probability of each of the demand so let's note down the probability so for 10,000 the probability is 0.5 for 20,000 the probability is 0.3 and 50,000 probability is 0.2 similarly we'll note down for all the three decision alternatives Now, as mentioned earlier, the decision to go with either overtime or new equipment or leasing options depends on which of the nodes 2, 3 and 4 gives us the maximum expected value. So, let's now calculate the expected value at each of the nodes, that is 2, 3 and 4. To calculate the expected value, at node number 2 basically we have to multiply each of the probabilities with the profit that we received for that demand so 0 0.5 multiplied by 40,000 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 100,000 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 280,000 so this value comes out to be 106,000 similarly for node number 3 the expected value will be equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 80,000 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 320,000 this is equal to 88,000 similarly for node 4 0 0.5 multiplied by 35,000 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 105,000 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 315,000 112,000 so let us put these value in an inverted triangle on top of these three nodes so on node number 2 this is 1.06 lakh node number 3 0 0.88 and node number 4 1.12 so now in order to decide among the three options that is overtime new equipment and leasing the maximum expected value can be achieved from node number 4 so the option to be chosen is to lease the new machine so leasing is the answer